very much. New details this afternoon in the Wisconsin parade tragedy, which killed five people. Waukesha police now plan to pursue intentional homicide charges against the man involved. This is some witness video of the chase. The name of the suspect is Daryl Brooks, and 8 News Now has confirmed he's a registered sex offender here in Nevada. Nancy Chen reports. CBS News has learned the suspect in the deadly SUV incident at a holiday parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin, has been identified as Daryl Brooks. A law enforcement official tells CBS News preliminary information indicates he was fleeing another crime at the time, turning the celebration to horror in an instant. <laughs> At one point, the vehicle narrowly missed hitting a small child as it tore through the parade route. Bystanders hurried to help the injured. 18 kids were brought to our children's emergency department, ranging from ages 3 to 16 years of age, which include three sets of siblings. Injuries ranged from facial abrasions to broken bones to serious head injuries. My heart goes out to those who were witness to these events. My heart goes out to those who lost a loved one. I saw one person on the ground, I saw their feet. And Matt Rude was at the parade with his two young children. I grabbed them and pulled them back um, towards the building, and there's a bunch of people hunkered down, um, telling them to get down, people crying, screaming, because we didn't know what was going on. Many in the parade were dance, cheer, and band members from local schools. Classes are canceled today, and the district says it's bringing in extra counselors for students and staff. Nancy Chen, CBS News, Waukesha, Wisconsin. This morning, Waukesha police said four of the victims are women between 52 and 79 years old. The other victim, an 81-year-old man.